So looks like you have made it to the second channel and I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me. This is a channel where I'm going to be posting a lot more of daily AI news and the reason why I created this channel is because I can't really post multiple videos on the main channel due to the YouTube algorithm shutting me down and pushing me out which is why I'm going to be trying my best to push you guys on different daily AI news and content that would definitely benefit you. So with that thought guys, let's get straight into the video. As we all know, Gemini 2.5 is Google's most intelligent AI model that was released this week and it's a state-of-the-art model leading in almost every benchmark category. This is a thinking model designed to tackle increasingly complex problems and it's something that excels and outpaces many of the models like OpenAI's O3 Mini, GPT 4.5, even Claude 3.7 Sonnet. This model excels at agentic capabilities, function calling, and even coding where it can do exceptionally well from developing front ends all the way to developing and debugging various sorts of applications for you. It also does quite well in terms of enhanced reasoning capabilities where it excels in categories like science, mathematics, as well as knowledge, which is where this makes it a great all-rounded model. And what's great is that Google has released a Gemini app that has a canvas. And this is essentially where you have the same sort of feature that you would get from Claude Artifacts within Gemini's app. And that is through their canvas. This is an interactive space that will get you visualizations of what you can actually see with your code that's being generated or with any sort of prompt that you send in within the Canvas app. To access, it's really simple. You just need to make sure that you have a Google account and once you have registered, you can head over to the Gemini app, click on this drop down menu and select the 2.5 Pro Experimental Model. Now, this is fully free, so you don't even need to worry about paying for anything and you can actually start getting visualizations of whatever you generate with it. And to get the visualization, you simply need to click on Canvas and you can go ahead and prompt in anything like write a travel blog on Paris, make sure to include both hidden gems and popular tourist spots. And you can see right now, you'll get a visualization of all of its findings and you can then go ahead and either edit on certain components by highlighting something and then you can have the AI ask on what it can do to improve on this certain thing. So you can even ask it what this thing is or you can ask it to improve or remove it. But this is just one way for you to get visualizations of what is happening. This is an example that will actually be better useful for coding related tasks so you can get live visualizations of what is being generated. For example, we can have it create a landing page and this is where we can see that the prompt is to create a simple landing page for a robotics project. We're building a small learning the robot and you're going to be able to see that it will develop this landing page for you. And due to the Gemini 2.5 Pro's context window, it's going to be capable of writing lengthy snippets of code which will get you better outputs. So once it has finished generating, we can then head over to the preview tab and see what was generated. And there we go, just like that. It was that fast and simple for us to generate this simple landing page, which would take many developers hours to actually output. And you can see from the single prompt, you get a visualization of it like you would with Claude's artifacts. Now, one thing that this model excels at is tackling multiple tasks within an overall prompt. This is where I'm asking it to code a TV that lets me change channels with number keys 0 to 9, come up with an idea for a channel for all the numbers inspired by classic genres of TV channels. This is where this model does a great job in obviously generating long context code snippets as well as providing you creativity and going over and beyond to tackle multiple tasks within an overall prompt over here. So let's see what it actually ends up outputting. If you go over to the preview, it's going to be able to showcase what it generated. So it looks like since it's not in HTML, I'm going to have to go ahead and output this to a p5.js viewer. So I'm on a p5.js viewer. I'm going to paste in the contents that I generated as in the code snippet. And I'm going to click the play button. And there we go. We have a live visualization of what it had generated. Now, if I click on all the numbers, you can see that it generated actual contents for each channel. So you can see this is number two. You have a bouncing ball, you have a channel showcasing space on number three, dusty trails on number four, number five is a kitchen creations. And you can see that it was capable of doing all of this with a single code uh, prompt 
that I had requested it to complete. And this is what the capability of this model is. You can see it has great creativity and it can go over and beyond whatever you actually send in. Now the stuff I showcased was quite simple. Other people were actually able to generate full on landing pages with this amazing model. And this is why I definitely recommend that you use the canvas because it's a free tool that will get you started and help you generate anything with live visualizations. But that's essentially a gist of Gemini canvas. This is something that I really wanted to spotlight because they've now introduced the Gemini 2.5 Pro model within it. So you can start accessing it completely for free. Obviously, it's going to be rate limited, so keep that in mind. But what I'd re highly recommend if you're going to be using this model a lot is to combine it with something like Klein so that you can get unlimited usage with the free API that you can get through Open Router. But that's basically it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed what I'm going to be posting on this channel. This is just a taste of what you'll be getting on this channel. So definitely subscribe. Make sure you guys share to run if you haven't already. I'll leave all the links in the description below. I'll also leave my World of AI links in the description so that you can obviously subscribe to the newsletter, follow me, and join our private Discord. Make sure you join our Twitter page. And lastly, obviously, check, take a look at the main channel if you haven't already. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.